Geneva, Switzerland, November 1995. Astronomers from the University of Geneva announce an incredible discovery in the pages of the journal Nature. They reveal that by analyzing slight changes in the light generated by the distant star known as 51 Pegasi, they were able to confirm the existence of an exoplanet around another star in our galaxy for the very first time. An exoplanet is just a planet around somebody else's star. It's not orbiting the sun. Before 1995, we thought there might be a lot of planets out there, but we didn't know it. And since then, there are a lot of exoplanets that have been found. In fact, thousands of them. That's a lot of planets. Right now, we have cataloged about 5,000 exoplanets orbiting other stars. And that's just in our own vicinity of the Milky Way galaxy. And we have encyclopedias documenting the size and the characteristics of these planets. Every day we discover a new planet out there that potentially could carry life. Since it's true that our galaxy is teeming with planets, could some of them be home to extraterrestrial life? According to astronomers, the answer is yes. And they claim that these planets can be found in what is known as the Goldilocks zone. In terms of the Goldilocks zone, that's the right distance from the star where you're not too hot and you're not too cold. You're just right. If you're on the Goldilocks zone, you can have liquid water in your surface without it freezing or without it boiling off. And where there's liquid water, there could be life. Earth is obviously in the Goldilocks zone for the sun. Those are the kind of planets you want to find because you probably need water for life. And thanks to telescopes, we know that every second or third star has at least one planet more or less the same size as our own in the Goldilocks zone. Will we ever be able to prove that planets located in the Goldilocks zone are in fact home to other life forms? Well, some scientists believe that we may soon find out. July 11th, 2022, Washington, D.C. Today is a historic day. At an event at the White House, President Joe Biden unveils the first image taken by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. It's a new window into the history of our universe. We can see light from the oldest galaxies, the oldest documented light in the history of the universe from over 13 billion years ago. The $10 billion instrument is armed with the most powerful infrared imaging technology ever created. And what's even more remarkable is that the telescope was specifically designed to analyze planets that lie in the Goldilocks zone for evidence of life. The James Webb telescope, it's an infrared telescope, so it's sensitive to heat, but that's really not the big deal. The big deal is that it can look, for example, at a planet around another star and actually see it. It might only look like a dot on a photo, but you take the light from that dot, put it through a prism, and you could tell what's in the atmosphere of that planet. The James Webb Space Telescope is like a magnifying glass. It's going to look in extreme detail. And the great thing is, for the first time, we can actually start to study the atmospheres of Earth-sized planets. If we look at a planet and we can see chemicals that we know don't occur naturally in its atmosphere, that's a really good indication that they're produced by industrial processes. So if we see those in an exoplanet, that's a good sign that they're produced by some alien industry. It tells you there's very likely an intelligent civilization like our own on that planet producing those chemicals. Given the fact that we have now the Webb telescope up there giving us even more information, Given the fact that we keep on cataloging more and more exoplanets, we are now flooded with information about potential life forms in the galaxy, perhaps even intelligent life. And so this is a game changer.